Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, we got Cardi B uploading the video of the Karen crying about the WAP. Hey yo, Apple Music trying to shade Kanye West music from being played or streamed and is G Unit about to make a comeback? Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. If this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you're feeling any part of the content, man. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for you to touch it. So go on and pound on that bell. Hey yo, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, man. You know it helps us out. Now I want to give a shout out to Life of Lee. My man said. Last time I tuned in, I was like, man, I wish I was at my keyboard typing this. Stop wasting my time listening to these shout outs. Damn it, celeb. Right? So I want to give a shout out to the life of Lee. You see what I'm saying? Salute. All right? Now, um, yo, let's jump in. Let's jump straight in, right? Because uh, let's jump straight in. First off, we have Cardi B. You know, I once saw a video, right? A Cardi B dancing and performing one of her own songs when her child walked into the room and she ran over to the phone frantically and shut the song off, which told me that she does not want her child listening to that kind of music. You know, I have a neighbor, right? Who, when I go to my car, I see this dude standing on the side of his house, hiding, smoking a cigarette. You watch what you call it, but you wouldn't want to watch what you call it in front of your kids. You see what I'm getting at, man? Look, I have a friend. He don't even know who Cardi B is like that. Y you know why? Because he's not into all that. He's not interested. He's not looking for why. This look, Jesus said, if you seek, you will find. OK, and I believe that applies to good things as well as bad things. Cardi B uploaded one particular video of a woman crying, right? Wiping tears out her eyes during her reaction to the performance that Cardi B and Megan did at the Grammy now, Grammys now both her and Megan called out the youtuber for overreacting yo take a look with children. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> For those of you out there who are wondering, what's safe? Where do I show my kids? How do I show? What do I show my kids? That's, that's good, that's noble, that's pure, that's edifying, that's worthy. I want to say be careful and I want to say that I'm being careful too. Cardi, Cardi, you sent more traffic to her than us. Yo, you, you can take a clip of Celeb Source and direct traffic over here, man. Cardi is like, but Celeb, her content is better. I mean, I mean, come on, man. Really? You're going to do us like that? Now, Cardi reacted to the lady crying over WAP, talking about, really? Over WAP? And Megan chimed in and said she keep wiping her eyes, but there ain't even no damn tears. Yo, man, I mean, I, I'm disgusted by the whole thing. Now, Megan Thee Stallion did come along and say that she was sick and tired of folks calling her music and other songs such as WAP too racy. Megan had a very strong message for folks that don't follow her brand, which was, quote, don't mention me if you're not a hottie. Thanks. And before I go, y'all be acting like people force y'all to look at this ish <laughs> that you don't like. If you like puppies, follow puppy pages. If you like food follow food pages and if you like bad bees follow me simple now we reported to you yesterday right that uh financial firm ubs group ag stated that yeezy was now worth 3.2 billion dollars and 4.7 billion dollars making it like a whopping six billion or something crazy like that but forbes pulled a hey, hey, hey whoa 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 not so fast kanye is not 
the richest black person in U.S. history? <laughs> you like, celeb, I ain't believe it anyway. Yeah, well, you know, it is what it is, okay? Forbes stated that those numbers are greatly inflated by incorrectly valuing the Yeezy brand between 3.2 billion and 4.7. They stated, quote, West's wildly optimistic approach to his net worth mirrors the approach used by Donald Trump. Wow, they so they you see how they made a correlation? The association who insists the value of his name be included in any net worth estimate. Trump, who we value at 2.5 says his brand has an intrinsic value, regardless of actual revenue. West and his camp are making a similar argument for businesses attached to the Yeezy name. Close quote. So Forbes not your boy Ye down to a measly 1.8 billion. Ugh. Talk about impoverished. Now, the last time Forbes knocked your boy Ye down to 1.3 billion, he called Forbes, quote, some of my favorite white supremacists. <laughs> Close quote. They, and then he, he also added, they cold, bro. My most favorite white supremacist is Forbes because I just got to respect their gangster. They don't live in 2020. They act like it's the 1800s still. Read the Forbes. It's crazy, racist. Close quote. Now, Kanye West's uh, College Dropout was one of my favorite albums, right? And if you want to revisit your boy's music on Apple Music, you can scratch that because much of his discography was removed off of his artist page on Apple Music. Now, some of his projects may have been restored by the time you're hearing this, but I find it odd that such a thing even took place right after it was mentioned him that he was one of the richest black people in United States history. Now, it's still unknown as to what happened, you know, which caused Ye's projects to suddenly disappear, but hopefully everything will be restored by right about now. You know me, I blame Apple because, you know what I'm saying, I'm team Android over here. You follow me? And finally, in the ultimate plot twist that you did not see coming from damn near a mile away, Young Buck has flipped the script on us all and let us know that the beef that he has had with 50 Cent was fake. Yes, you heard me, fake. The whole thing was a ruse. That's right, you've been punked. There go the cameras over there. That, that's the sound guy right over there with the boom mic, say hi, right? Take a listen to what your boy Young Buck had to say. We playing this shit. We ain't got no motherfucking beef. You understand me? And see what you motherfuckers get. Cause you motherfuckers are always chasing this beef shit. And then we done played y'all motherfucking ass. You niggas run around and just like, man, goddamn, man. Whole time, bro. You did. Whole time y'all thinking whatever the fuck y'all thinking. So really we the motherfucking, we win. Cause we made all you motherfuckers think that it's beef and we don't like each other. I just got off the phone with the nigga. We just shot a video yesterday. About to drop it and get it to the world. Fuck y'all up. Out of nowhere. But I just want y'all to understand one thing, man. That's what you motherfuckers get, man. You motherfuckers is crazy out here, bro. This social media shit got you people fucked up, man. Y'all got played this time. We sit down and master plan this shit out. 50 was like, man, I'm finna say all kind of shit about you, nigga. I'm gonna make them fucking hate you. Then you gonna make them love you again. I said, what the fuck you mean, Phil? Nigga said, nigga, I'm finna make these people hate you, nigga. I said, man, why the fuck you gonna... Why you gonna do that? You did? He like, no, nah, just trust me, nigga. I'm gonna make them hate you, nigga. I'm gonna say all kind of shit about you, nigga. You think you can handle it? I said, man, I, man, I don't give a fuck about this shit. So I just followed the nigga playing and then all of a sudden, I guess the nigga was right because they love me again. And I did it. I made them love me again. 
So when the nigga was like, man, I'm finna say all this shit about you, man, I'm finna just, you know, I'm finna fuck with them. I'm, I'm, they gonna think it's over for you. And you gonna make them love you again. So I'm thinking, damn, what this nigga doing? Like, man, I'm going to go over here in this movie shit. We're going to get the fuck away from this shit. I'm going to say all kind of shit about you. I'm going to act like I don't fuck with you no more. And you going to love them. They going to, you going to make them love you again. And once you make them love you, once you make them love you again, then you is going to make them love us again. I said, for real? He says, go on tell them motherfuckers they just got played. So there you have it. You dig? Now you motherfuckers know. And y'all know the old saying on the G.I. Joe cartoon. Knowing is half the battle. You feel me? So now you know, man. The nigga, the nigga masterminded this shit out. Nigga, nigga, nigga told me a long time ago, like, bro, I'm finna, I'm finna do some shit that only you can do it. I ain't know the nigga was gonna do some of the shit that he did and say some of the shit that he said, but the nigga planned this shit out, man, and the nigga told me, Buck, I'm gonna really make these motherfucking people feel like they don't like you no more but you is gonna make them love you again I'm like what the fuck you talking about nigga what you next thing I know I'm like damn I, they might not like me no more or some shit cause it started feeling like the nigga said but then that part when he said you gonna make them love you again I see what the fuck you mean, man. So y'all go, y'all go F50, bro. And tell that nigga, man, it's fucked up how you done this, bro. You made us think you don't fuck with young buck, bro. You know, you had us laughing at the nigga. You said all this shit. Only to make us love the hell out this nigga. That's right, you've been trolled, Money Grip. Yo, I know what you're thinking. I need to see the video that he recently shot with 50. And I am pleased to tell you, I do not have that video here. But when that joint drops, right, we'll be first in line to hit you with that bad boy. In the meantime, you can go and watch some old G-Unit videos to get you a taste of what the comeback is about to be like while you wait and see if Young Buck himself is actually trolling us all you let us know what you think in the comments below do you think that this is real i mean honestly I, I hate to say it but i feel like young buck is trolling us like and it's messed up because it makes me look at it like i want i want there to be a beef between the two of them you see what i'm saying like in other words i guess what i'm saying is i can't possibly believe that i've been trolled by 50 cent like that but he says that's what it is so I guess we gotta wait and hear what 50 got to say on the whole thing. In the meantime, yo, let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for Celeb News.